Are you weaker on one side of the body? Are you struggling with uneven muscles? Today, we're covering the best strategies to fix muscle imbalance once and for all. Tip number one is pre-activation. If you take anything from today's video, this is the simplest way you can reduce asymmetry and fix muscle imbalance. By activating the muscle and taking our joint through range, we're improving our kinesthetic awareness. This is where your joints are in space. This is going to create a more clear connection between your brain and your muscle, improving that mind muscle map, which is going to support you for balanced training to come. What is going on is we're getting enhanced motor control and also motor unit recruitment. This is a fancy way of saying you're going to get increased force production and also power production of the dormant muscle that you want to reduce the imbalance and decrease that asymmetry. This is happening via increased motor unit synchronization and also motor unit firing rates. This is a fancy way of saying that more of your muscle fibers are going to be recruited at a faster rate. This basically means that you're going to be recruiting more of the dormant muscle in all of the exercises you're about to do, providing the opportunity to get bigger and stronger. And finally, the science suggests that it has an effect on the stretch reflex, augmenting the muscle stiffness in the area that you're pre-activating. Consider this if you have weakness. If you're enjoying the video so far, show your support by dropping a thumbs up to help us grow. Point number two is unilateral exercises. This is obvious, but it is such an effective strategy. The reason for this is it allows each side, each limb to be doing all of the work. This is gonna promote balance and also symmetry. The biggest tip that I can give you is always start each set with the weaker side first. This allows you the opportunity to give your full physical and mental energy to the task at hand. This way, you're going to reduce the side-to-side -side differences and improve your muscle strength and also muscle size. You should start your session with compound exercises done unilaterally, one at a time. The middle of your workout should have your compounds done bilaterally, two at a time and you should finish your workout with isolation exercises to target your weak areas. Beginning your session with unilateral is a smart choice because it allows you to address the area that you're struggling with while you're fresh. The middle of a workout is a perfect opportunity to now integrate our body as a whole and improve globally. And of course, isolating at the end of a workout is the best option because the extra fatigue isn't going to impact your performance and also it's not going to impact the subsequent sessions. Unilateral training is a no-brainer. It ticks all boxes and it provides the best of all worlds. You're training the movement pattern in question. You're getting your muscles bigger and stronger and this is happening on both sides of the body independently. Guys, what has helped you decrease muscle imbalance? Share your tips and tricks with the community. Point number three is mind-muscle connection. And no, this isn't just for bodybuilders. This is for both people who want to increase muscle and also get stronger, enhancing their symmetry. Visualization is a highly effective strategy that everyone can use to enhance the mind-muscle connection. You want to do this by mental imagery. Think about your muscles creating tension. Think about your muscle that you're trying to work shortening every single rep. Really visualize this on that weaker side especially. Focus your full mental imagery onto that particular area and you're going to be using that muscle much more in the exercise. The best way to do this is by verbally in your mind or out loud saying to yourself the most important technique cue that you want to focus on. In this case, scapula, scapula, scapula. This directs your full attention to the movement pattern that you're working on and it's going to be recruiting those dormant areas that you otherwise would not be using if you just went through the motions with your exercise. The best way to accomplish this is with a controlled tempo, particularly dominating that eccentric phase of any exercise that you do. The main reason why people struggle with the mind-muscle connection is they're training with their ego. The intensity is too high and they can't actually even control the movement that they're training. The simple solution is to humble yourself, drop the intensity, drop your loads so you can actually dominate the movement and feel the mind-muscle connection 
on the weaker side. For those of you who are training with weights, forget about the barbell, go ahead and use dumbbells to fix imbalance. Independent loading is the massive advantage of using dumbbells. There's no hiding. Each side has to do an equal amount of work to train through a full range of motion. By using dumbbells, we can start to get more of a balance existing between sides because that weaker side has to work. Improving stability is where dumbbells shine. Because they're free to move in multiple planes of motion, your smaller muscle groups, your stabilizers are going to be improved. This is going to reduce the bottlenecks that might be holding back your strength and size potential. Increased range of motion is another advantage of dumbbells on most exercises. Anytime we can go through a further range, this creates more stress, more stimulus, and it's a more productive environment to grow and reduce our imbalance. Point number five is increase volume to decrease muscle asymmetry. Volume is defined as sets times reps times intensity. Focusing on the reps and sets side of the equation is the best way to keep things simple. An additional one to five reps on your weaker side is a good way to go. Otherwise, an extra set is going to help reduce that difference that exists between sides over time. Always conclude your workout with this extra homework so you don't run into any fatigue related issues. Point number six is film yourself. This way you can assess the situation and make changes. Most of you guys are training solo. By filming your set, you can be your own coach and you can review what is going on. This allows you to check out what you're doing incorrectly. Maybe your hand placement is a bit too narrow. Maybe your stance isn't what you want it to be. And this is contributing to your asymmetry. This way you can adjust the next set and start reducing the potential causes of what is creating your imbalance. Using a mirror isn't quite the same thing. It's not ideal because you're looking visually and it doesn't allow you the opportunity to develop your own awareness of what your body is doing in space, your own awareness of improving the mind-muscle connection. By filming your set, you can look at it undistracted with a clear vision and then make adjustments in subsequent sets. Final point number seven, imbalance is normal. Here's why. There's factors that are out of your control which are causing this. Firstly, anatomy. Your origin and insertion of your muscles is going to determine the shape of your muscles. This is different from side to side in most people. This means you have the opportunity to increase the size of your muscles, but you can't change the shape based on the tendons inserting at different points on your body. So as you can see, you might be fighting an uphill battle, which is impossible to begin with, just based on the structure that you inherited at birth. Our dominance determines our appearance. We all have one side which is stronger than the other. This is a natural thing, and it's something that every single person experiences. A few years ago, I had a DEXA scan, which is a full body assessment of muscle as well as bone density. As you can see, there's no one or two area which is completely identical left to right. I just wanna drill home that this is normal for absolutely everyone, and being completely symmetrical is almost impossible for humans at large. Your structure also plays a role in your appearance. It determines what exercise you're good at and the resulting strength in those movements determines your appearance. I'd like to share a personal example from myself. I have what's called scoliosis. This is a curvature in the spine, which is caused by a leg length discrepancy. My left leg is longer than my right. As a result, I'm always going to be imbalanced to an extent, but there's certain things in my control that I can always do. These are the strategies that are listed today. Now, that's not an excuse to accept defeat and just do nothing about your body. What's in your control is improving your flexibility and also mobility. You guys know when it comes to that side, which is weaker, your non-dominant side, it tends to be tighter as well. This is an area that if you address it by increasing your flexibility and bringing up that side to match the other, then you're in the position to be able to train both sides equally, building an equal amount of strength, an equal amount of muscle size. These small differences that exist between sides with your flexibility can be improved over time with stretching. 
It's just going to take time and it's going to take patience and also consistency to improve. But that is in your control. Anytime that you can reduce the deficit with flexibility by stretching and the deficit with mobility by strengthening and joint range of motion, that's going to reduce the side to side difference. Guys, there's a term called nocebo. And that's what I wanted to address in today's video regarding fixing muscle imbalance. Hopefully, as you can see, this isn't something to be afraid of. You shouldn't be scared that you've got slight differences in strength or also muscle size. I don't want you to let anyone else tell you any differently, whether it's a friend, a training partner, or some expert on the internet. Hopefully today's content has cleared this up for you and now you've got the tools and also the knowledge to train and do so in a smart way.